Welcome to jQuery Mobile School video screencast. This is the fourth video tutorial in this series. We'll be learning in the next 10 minutes how to create dynamic lists and uh, dynamic pages. So up until now we've created all of our jQuery Mobile pages hand-coded, like we've created HTML on our own, we know how to create um, list views, we created uh, a UI with a list view and then we created pages. All of that we've done in the first three videos is by manually writing the HTML. So anytime you want to change your UI you'd have to change your HTML. So we had a static list that looked like this and then we had a static page that looked like this. So we manually understood how to write this page and what all of these data attributes mean. So what we want to do now is every time let's say you know there's a new movie you don't want to change this page you want your UI to be dynamically updated and uh, working. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. So basic architecture of how we're going to go about doing this is we will from the internet we will find out what the latest movies are and this keeps changing so we'll write a movie list generator software that will get the movies from the internet and then it will output a movie details JSON object so that is going to be covered in the upcoming video in this video we'll assume that we have all the dynamic data of our website of our jQuery mobile website into this JSON object and then this software there's a software that goes to the internet and creates this dynamic data for us. And our jQuery mobile app is going to read from that dynamic source. So that's what is the basic assumption. In this video we'll just learn about how to how to use this dynamic JSON object and then change our UI to create the UI based on this JSON object. In one of the upcoming videos we'll also learn about how to extract information from the internet and then create this JSON file. So we start off with an empty list. So we remove all our HTML that we've written. We start off with an empty list view. And uh, that looks like this, right? There's, there's no item. So that's the first step. We create an empty list. We have a filter so that we get a good search bar and we, the main thing we do is we give it an ID of movie list. So this ID is going to be used for dynamically adding movies which we'll see in the next few minutes. So our output looks very simple, nothing, right? And then we define, we, we also create this new file called moviedetails.json. That's the file that we showed here. So that's the file which has all the dynamic data this, this app can ever read. So we're going to extract the name of the movie and we're going to extract the picture URL of that movie into this uh, dynamic file. So once we create this file, it's a JSON file. JSON is JavaScript object notation. So it's, this one is basically two movie objects in an array and it has a key value way in which it specifies um, how to create a JSON object. So we create this JSON file which is our contract for our app. Our app only understands this JSON file and every time this JSON file changes our app changes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read this JSON file and then create a list. So we're going to take the name of the movies from this list and then create our list dynamically based on this JSON file input. So what we do is we use get JSON method using jQuery. We pass it the URL which has the dynamic JSON object and then we iterate over each of these movies items and then we create an anchor tag or a, we create a link to these movies. So you see we are using movie list ID here. That's the ID that we gave in this screen. So that's our empty list. We're gonna, we are trying to populate that empty list here by iterating over all of these objects. So there's this new function 
called generate movie link which will go on in the next slide basically it will create a link the list item link and then once we have added all of these movies we do a refresh on the list view because it's dynamically added so all of the jQuery mobile CSS and JS behavior needs to be added so once you, once you do refresh it adds that dynamic behavior so generate movie link is this guy it basically creates a list item and an anchor tag within it and then which has an on click method that goes to a JavaScript function that creates the page the dynamic page so we, we don't have any static HTML anymore we don't have static HTML for list we don't have static HTML for page everything is going to be created using JavaScript so we pass it in the movie name and then the picture URL and then we create this list so that's how this list view is going to be created the output would look like this since we only had two movie objects in our JSON file we have two items here so basically what we did was we took out all the HTML that we had hand coded and we put it in this function generate movie link so every time this guy is going to be called iterated over based on the object so we don't have to manually hand code it so now we have two movies now what we want to do is we want to define this method go to movie detail page so every time they create every time a user clicks on this link they need to go to a page so that page was previously statically you know hand coded but it no longer exists so what we're going to do is we're going to create a JavaScript function that understands how to create that page so go to movie detail page looks like this again all the information that was dynamic is taken out as a parameter and then HTML is generated using JavaScript so it's the same exact HTML that we had in the tutorial 3 except that all the parameters the movie name the picture URL is abstracted out and then it's created using JavaScript so what we do is we create an object movie page with the dynamic information and we append it to the mobile page container which is a jQuery mobile page container and we say to the jQuery mobile framework that we want to go to this new page by saying $.mobile.change page it goes to that new page so then we go to that page. Let's see it in action. So here, when you click on this, it goes to this new page. The behavior is pretty much similar to what was described in the third tutorial. It will be more evident if you open this up in Chrome and then you open up uh, the net inspector as to what really changed. If you go to tools, developer tools, you'll be able to see this uh, web inspector. And then you hit refresh on this page, you'll see that it's it's calling this movie details JSON page using that get JSON, and it's getting this dynamic data from that JSON file, and then it's creating this list. And every time I click on this page, it's gonna fire off an image get request because it's in that new page it's created this new page so that's how it's doing it it's dynamically getting and generating this page for us so that's so that's the output you know you created a dynamic page based on the movie name and then the movie picture URL and it automatically goes to that page the main thing to note here is there's this attribute data URL, which is a dummy URL. You need this thing for the back button to work. So, you know, it could be, it's just a placeholder, but you would want to add the data URL equals some string. That will allow you to go back and forth between the first page and then the second page. So, so that's, that's how we created the dynamic page. That was pretty simple. So if you add more data, the page should refresh. Let's see it in action. So right now we have four movies, right? Now let's try to remove some of the movie objects. Once we remove this, and then we hit refresh, 
Now we just have two movies. See, we didn't have to make any HTML change. The only change was in this JSON file, and then everything get up get updated. So that's the beauty of this. Like every time your software creates this new file from the internet, your app doesn't have to change. It still keeps working. So now we've created a dynamic list and a dynamic page. So let's recap quickly. We learned how to create a list, which was dynamic based on the JSON object. We learned how to create the JSON file. Um, we will learn in detail how it's created from the internet, but we assume that there's a JSON contract. And um, we also learned how to create a dynamic page. In the next video, we will be covering in detail all the details about uh, jQuery mobile forms. Hope you've learned something out of this. See you all next week. Happy learning.